Hello, and welcome to Gamer Premonitions, the Game Awards 2022. We have gathered again, these gamer psychics, to let you know what will happen 30 minutes from now. We have the usual crew. We've got Bob Video Games. I know everything. From Gigaboots. We've got Chris Wolfhart. I predicted the future earlier for free as a joke. And Dr. Agro. Hey, just because I can see the future, don't make me no snitch. We also have with us a live studio audience. And many, many predictions. So let's get started. For the first round, we're going to go ahead and start with Bob. Oh, with the intro sounds looping. Okay, <laughs> oh, now no. we're going to start with Bob. Bob, tell me something that will happen in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a little too far in the future for me. <laughs> <laughs> tell me something Jeff Keighley will tweet minutes before he goes live. Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> there will be a chosen one. <laughs> Damn it, it's too soon. <laughs> Sorry. Well, now we know what his second one is. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds significant. We will see a Bayonetta 4 trailer because... Oh my god. Of course they have to do one too early. <laughs> <laughs> it will recontextualize the entire ending to 3. Oh my god. <laughs> and oh. uh, they're going to announce a day, or day of event uh -huh. game, mini game that you can play for Bayonetta. I'm feeling woozy. I'm going to need to lie down already. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so excited to have Jeff Keighley stare into the camera and tell me what the meaning of the ending of Bayonetta 3 was. Yeah, he'll do it personally. They he'll won't do, do a pre recorded video. He'll of be handed a letter by Nintendo <laughs> that he needs to orally deliver to the audience, staring deep into the lens. Wow, Bob. I'm really excited for that. Maybe I can get excitement elsewhere, though. Let's go next to Dr. Agro. Agro. Tell me something that'll happen in approximately 30 minutes. You heard it was delayed. You heard it was an overambitious indie title with too much money that is spiraling out of control and is probably doomed. It could be anything. You heard wrong. Oh. This Game Awards, we will see the return of the Conference King. Goodbye, Volcano <laughs> High. <laughs> Can't they wait till next year? <laughs> no. <laughs> they, they already... They already said they were coming out next year. Just give me six more months, please. I'm, I'm, I'm just begging you. Are we getting that day one demo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Wow, Dr. Akro, that sure is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that very real premonition. Chris, can you help me recuperate my senses by giving me some more palpable or uh, tolerable Gamer premonitions for the Game Awards 2022. Well, first I can tell you one I we no none of us can use oh. because uh it already happened, mm. which was uh the FTC filing a lawsuit against Microsoft <laughs> as a Microsoft thing was on screen. <laughs> which would have which would have been uh the most perfect cap to anything <laughs> ever. I know. But, but my actual one is Jeff will make a joke about how the metaverse sucks and is terrible, but one of the reveals will be for a metaverse game. It'll be one. It'll be like uh, what happened at the summer of gaming, where it's really fucking vague and uses a lot of buzzwords, and then later it comes out that it's a metaverse thing. We can't, we can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> wow, that's really great, Chris. I I do feel robbed by the FTC thing though. That was that was definitely going to play into one of my more ludicrous ones, probably involving an old timey cane coming on the screen and <laughs> yanking Phil Spencer off. Uh, unfortunate that we lost that, but very fortunate that we gained your premonition. <laughs> do you think John Garb is going to be a special guest? Bob, please. <laughs> We're on round one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gentlemen, this year at the Game Awards 2022, something amazing will happen. In, in a thing everyone thought impossible, 
in a move everyone's been waiting for forever, but others believe completely impossible. This could never occur. Nintendo will announce a Switch 2 on stage. It lines up with the roadmap for Switch 1. This is the biggest platform they could do it on. And let's be real, anyone buying a Switch in 2022 isn't plugged in at all. <laughs> <laughs> that would... That'd be pretty crazy if they did it right now. Yeah. I don't think that I don't think they'll do it. I think that's crazy. It's Guys, too it's, powerful. Happen, it's happening 30 minutes from now. I'm really sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've already seen it with my gamer eye. Like, what do you come on? Well, that means we're moving on to round two of gamer. Premonition. Which means Dr. Agro is starting this round. Dr. Agro, give me a second. Spicy. Well, actually, less spicy than last time. <laughs> Premonition. I'm, I'm afraid I can't do that, Dan. Oh, no. You see, while, while news of, of the <laughs> FTC filing might have been troubling for some, oh. uh, it, it actually brought a lot of peace and clarity to my mind because it has interpreted uh, what were mere shadows that I had seen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could not understand why I received a vision of an Activision executive committing suicide live on oh stage. My God. <laughs> Is this mm, an event that will occur or the planned entertainment? Yeah, did he have to rehearse this? this Musical this guest! <laughs> but one of many possible futures. <laughs> okay. That was good to know. I like knowing the future. Uh, it, it's sort of a twofer, though, because I also, that's my pick for who's going to be drunk at the Game Awards this year. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic news. Chris Wolfhart, give me your second gamer premonition. They're going to announce one of the first pieces of free Sonic Frontiers content. It's going to be Sonic Frontiers cross Amogus. <laughs> You're just you're, you're just going to be able to play as an Amogus, but you can see Sonic's head through the window. <sighs> and then just like Cyberpunk, the price is going back up to 60 and never dropping again. <laughs> <laughs> I think the live studio audience is about to hyperventilate over here. <laughs> wow. I can't believe this is going to be the first Sonic game to send t sell 10 more billion copies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh gentlemen for my second for my second gamer premonition a trailer with start where the main character is a very uncanny fidelity jeff Keeley, until a minute into the trailer when he rips off his mask and it is in fact still sam porter bridges and this is death stranding too <laughs> <laughs> The mask, the mask is a pre-order bonus. <laughs> oh, God. Like, in-game or? <laughs> yeah, I want a real <laughs> Jeff Keighley mask. $120. Here's your Jeff Keighley mask. <laughs> have a good day. God, did we, I, I have to wonder if anyone else wrote a Death Stranding 2 one. I feel like all of us probably wrote something. We probably wrote something. That might have warranted its own <laughs> lightning round. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Death Stranding 2. That's the punchline. Go. <laughs> this is set up for your joke. I mean, premonition. Hey, oh, Bob. No. Bob, what is your second gamer premonition? Well, it's been a while since we heard about Pragmata. Ooh. But. Ooh. Tonight, we're going to find out <laughs> Pragmata okay. is. No, don't say. It. A stray like. You play <laughs> the cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go full plankton over here. <laughs> Birth of a genre. <laughs> yes! <laughs> wow. Cat likes get a game of the year two year years yeah. in a row. How's it happen? <laughs> the game industry's going up, baby. Hey, boy, like, the, the game's a bit on a decline since 7th Gen. They haven't made another GTA or Skyrim. And I'm like, and yet they made two cat games. <laughs> Checkmate. Well, thank you, Bob, for your second Gamer Premonition. And since this is round two of four that just concluded, that means we are now headed into the lightning round. Oh, no. Ride the snake. Gentlemen, question number one. 
What is the Game Awards 2022's Game of the Year? We will start with Bob. Elden Ring. Dr. Agro. It's such a toss-up. Uh, God of War. Chris Wolfhard. It's going to be Elden Ring. It's Elden Ring. Come on, guys. <laughs> it's, it's Elden Ring. I, 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 one of us had to vote for the other one. <laughs> Question number two. You know what? I'm going to read it the original way it was written by Chris. Will Horizon Forbidden West win any awards? <laughs> we start with Dr. Agro. I mean, with how much money they spent on it, there's no way it's not winning a, a <laughs> award. It didn't win last time. This is a... No, that was the other one, though. <laughs> <laughs> that one was the one that was completely forgotten instead of mostly forgotten. <laughs> Chris Wolfhard. Yes, it will win best audio design. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm thinking. I'm going to say, yes, it's going to win best performance, which technically that means one of the actors that it won, but, you know, we're not going right. to split hairs no. here. We're not splitting hairs here. I'm not splitting hairs here. Are you splitting? No. Okay. Bob. I'm going to say yes, because it weas weaseled away into some category I don't know about. Like, it's sitting in there like, I'm an adventure game. <laughs> I'm like, mm. I would like to, I would like to bring up how the Ratchet and Clank devs were like, we were really lucky that people kept considering us a platformer, not a shooter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jump and shoot. Lightning round three. How many new video games will be announced at the Game Awards 2022? I'm going to oh. start with Chris Wolfhard. 19. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I was going to ask, are these prices right rules? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just going to say no. One. <laughs> I think they're going to announce four whole new games. That is it. Because we still have trailers to get for things like Pragmata. Death Stranding 2. Well, I guess that would yeah, be that, a new that's game announced. announced. Yeah, that's just late. <laughs> and Deep Down. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, do getting trailers for games that weren't real before count? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That, is, that opens a whole new dimension. <laughs> huh. Prognostication is more art than science. <laughs> Bob. How many new games will be announced today? I'm going to say at the Game Awards six. This yeah, feels like he prices righted my ass. Look, but go ahead. You were, I, I was going to pick five, and I was like, I don't want to be that close to Dan. Oh, okay. Well, I was. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I was also going to pick six, but then I was like, Nah, I'm, I'm going to go four because we're we're going to be a bit more cynical. Because look at all these games. Yeah, he said it's shorter this year. Uh -huh. I'm the guy thinking there are going to be only a few games, but they're being really good and have good showcases. That's my bet. Mm. Doctor Agro. This is really fucked up because I was going to pick six. So now I'm going to pick seven. <laughs> Can we all just agree on six? Can all three of us just say six and then we all win and any reasonable number, all three of us tie and Chris loses. <laughs> How did they announce 20 games? Right? Hard cut to us sitting here an hour later. What the fuck? What the fuck? There's always the potential of an indie showcase that Jeff just slips in. It's like, oh, no. Here's 15 games. You fuckers like witch farming? <laughs> Cat Cafe 2. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot this question was in here. I can't see the future. I can see the future, but not my own list. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, what will be the most disrespectful pre-show award? Oh. We're going to start this. <laughs> oh, shit. This is with me. <laughs> Best fighting game, which will go to Sifu. 
ultimate disrespect. <laughs> it's two layers. Well, well, you took you took exactly what I was gonna say. Thanks a fucking lot. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, I should have switched our order. <laughs> Bob, I'm gonna go say that he one ups himself forever. Oh, game of the year. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> That seems kind of important. <laughs> a little. <laughs> Most disrespectful award. Best game for women, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> do you not have any oversight committee? The, this I award the is going to be. It. <laughs> this this award is going to be given out by Cliffy B, who's here for some reason. <laughs> As you can all see, I killed my girlfriend. <laughs> Anyways, now that you've been touched as a person, <laughs> the only way I know how to as a writer. <laughs> Dr. Agro. Uh, I think it's been long enough. The heat's died down. I mm -hmm. think soundtrack is going back in the trunk. <gasps> Get in. We going for a ride? I am. <laughs> Roll yourself up in this carpet. <laughs> ah! Sometimes it does feel that tear of disrespectful, <laughs> honestly. And Chris. Games for impact, and pe some people are going to get fucking spittingly mad. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I would laugh so much. <laughs> it's such a fake also, category. Also, it'll it's, nothing. It's, it would be so good because it's like, this category is a good PR move, <laughs> but then you just disrespected it in the largest way possible. <laughs> yes. Also, it'll, be, uh, it'll be Tom Goes to Narrative. We'll win. I still can't. I still can't. <laughs> anyway. This year's recipient for the Hellblade Award for acting like we're doing something. Goes to. <laughs> yes. And now the most important lightning round question. Bob, you get to start. Oh, no. What is it? Will <laughs> oh, no. Armored Core reveal itself? <laughs> I have to bet big. Yes. Dr. Agro. Uh, I don't believe God wants you to be happy, so no. <laughs> that is actually a really safe bet. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Chris Wolfhart. Yes. I believe it will be here. FromSoft has too much cred with Keeley. Keeley loves these FromSoft reveals. He doesn't know no one cares about that games. <laughs> okay, but Dan, the question is... Will Armored Core be the new Elden Ring DLC? <laughs> oh. Ooh. I, weird how Elden Ring got my game of the year in 2023. <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. They're like, and it's out today. And I'm like, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. I can't deal with this right now. Well, that does it for our lightning round. Let me tell you this up. Yep, we all said a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> well, let's move on to round three. See, this is a part we normally edit out where I have to deal with my rampant Alzheimer's. Uh, Bob, you started for round one, right? Yes. And then Agro, you started for round two? Mm -hmm. Okay. We, Chris Wolfhart, you're starting round three. A thing I knew, definitely, <laughs> of Gamer Premonitions. <laughs> Tell me something that will happen in about 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, there's a pretty good chance there's going to be a Final Fantasy 16 trailer, but that's mm. not my premonition. Okay. The premonition is that they will bundle it with... Here's when Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming to fucking Xbox. Uh, and an addendum, <laughs> if, it, if they, it is not bundled with that, Final Fantasy VII Remake will never come to Xbox. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> They're too past. Square Enix is here at the Game Awards to announce they have made a 10-year plan, a 10-year contract to not bring Final Fantasy VII Remake to Xbox. <laughs> it was very beneficial to them, actually. <laughs> it was easy. <laughs> Wow, that's great news. I'm very excited for that to get... I, I, honestly, uh, to, be, to be brutally honest in this moment, every time a game is announced coming to Xbox, basically every time that's ever happened during a conference we streamed, you can look at my face as I look to someone and go, that wasn't there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are they just announcing a game that's out to trick me? <laughs> Well, it was on there, but it was on just now it's going to Game Pass, right? That's what's happening, you, right? Yeah, that <laughs> happened a couple times too. I genuinely was like, what do you mean they didn't get these Kingdom Hearts games? <laughs> yeah, they got three, but none of the rest. No, until now. What? Well, here we are. Round three for me. I have only a few words for this one, 
but it's very powerful. Last minute change to the Game Awards. And by last minute, I mean in the grand scheme of things. It really changed in the last three or four weeks. Jeff knew he had to do something. So now it's happening. Secret musical guest, Mick Gordon. (laughs) (laughs) It's just him on stage with his dick out while his music plays. Uh, Here's a new song I wrote just just today. Uh, I call it the FTC Blues. (laughs) Man, he sounds really happy for a song that has blues in the title. This is very strange. I'm very excited for this moment. The fact they're going to have to censor his crotch from so many different camera angles. (laughs) Going to make this a delightful stream to watch. Bob, what is your third gamer? Oh, okay. (laughs) I'm going to have to go with another Final Fantasy based one. Ooh. Hironobu Sakaguchi comes on stage. No. No. To announce a Final Fantasy IX remake. Uh, It just looks immaculate. Uh, Still has turn based combat. (gasps) Oh, man. Don't you do this to me, you son of a bitch. (laughs) He won't be the only one coming on stage. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Fall Face of 17, but this is actually kind of like, whoa. <laughs> I need somebody to get me a Popeye's cup. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Bob, thank you. That's what I'm here for. Because the only way I was ever going to survive that reveal was you giving it to me early with no visual. <laughs> <laughs> we now go to Dr. Egger for the final premonition for round three. Of gamer. Premonition. So, uh, this is a little unusual. I'm not actually sure about this one. Um, the future is balanced upon the edge of a knife. I've been sending my energy out there into the universe to, to sort of pray against this, but Jim Ryan is a powerful psychic monster. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight is the test. Oh. We are either going into the future where the remake of Horizon 1 is real, or maybe we can bury that horrible nightmare forever. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm not ready to confront that demon tonight. God, anything else. It's not a good time for me. <laughs> please, jump to the, some other time, please. Can you just show me more key art for The Last of Us 2 multiplayer? <laughs> I need That's everybody out there right with thoughts and prayers. I, I need your fucking Genki Dama energy right now. It's going to be really good. We're going to get Neil Druckmann on stage. He's going to show us pictures of the multiplayer for The Last of Us 2. He's going to have that insanely huge, insanely expensive Apple Watch. He's going to be like, I knew it. <laughs> Just some part of me knew he would own one. <laughs> Wow, that's uh, that's fucked up, Akron. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cursed, man. <laughs> like Jesus, what's wrong? With you? <laughs> Okay, and that means, by comparison, my premonition seems tame, so I'll just throw this out there real quick. Gentlemen, ladies, tonight on the Game Awards, we will, we're going to see that fucking Crash Battle Royale thing. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's no, actually can't. real. It's going to come out. Canceled, <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's surviving. <laughs> It's definitely going to get some good vibes from the gamers. People are going to love this. They're going to be like, oh, man, Activision, they're so good. <laughs> uh-huh. we're, we're not just going to see this horrifying Crash Battle Royale thing that should have died in the inception point. <sighs> it wasn't actually originally a Crash thing, according to people. <laughs> That's the good sauce. Oh. <laughs> it's out here making a freaking... <laughs> Legacy of Cain spinoff in the year Ooh. 2022. Nope, Legacy of Crash now. <laughs> Man, it's crazy how Crash got vampire powers. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but I guess whatever. You know, Bandicoot sweep. For really opening things up. Hey, Bob. Hey. Now, clearly, with Dr. Agro and myself having gone in a row before you with this terrible stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say is going to just go down like cotton candy, right? Yeah. Bob, tell me your final gamer. Revenish. This is a pretty big one. Oh, it's, how big is it? It's very big. Whoa. It's 
the reboot of a classic franchise. It's a reboot franchise? <laughs> They're making a reboot the- game. <laughs> They're making a reboot. Oh my god, that's a great premonition. So thank you, Bob. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, we did it. Uh, I'm sorry. That's oh, we not had bad. to do. Uh, oh, oh, no. oh man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Clock Tower. What? Ooh. Comes back is a Whoa. sci-fi horror game set in space because it's a Jeff Keighley show, so we need one of those. Whoa. I have one question for you. What's up? Do they get the real life likeness for the main character that they clearly ripped off from that 80s film for the original <laughs> Clock Tower? That actress that was huge for kid, like teenage movies in the 80s. Yes, of course. They use yes. reference images of her. Yes. We don't want yes. to alter her. Yes. <laughs> that would actually be hilarious and amazing. It's just like, no, nah, it's not her. 20 years passed. Look, we got her. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Yes, Jennifer Connelly. Looks like Molly Ringwald. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she in Clock Tower. <laughs> yeah, she was there. You, you must have played the bad route. She died off screen. How could you let her do that? <laughs> Dr. Agro, what is your final game of or premonition for the Game Awards? <laughs> What's your final Game Awards? <laughs> final Game Awards. Fuck you. Um, here's my Game Award. Best game to jack it to. Uh, Sonic Frontiers. A big part of, of being psychic uh-huh. is, is is being spiritually connected to the cycles of the earth of of death yes. and regeneration. The of, four days that each yeah li- living day is living made inside of. of of eternal cycles. So I I felt mm. that with Microsoft being at a low point like it is, feeling that trouble brewing, the natural response will be. To trot out some incredibly bullshit fable trailer for a game that not only doesn't exist, but is not planned to exist. <laughs> no, so, guys, everything's fine. We're making fable. You like that, that, right? That is what they did with Perfect Dark. Yeah. So wait, is this a separate fable game from the one already announced? They How? don't know and they don't care. Even okay, if yeah. I did cancel Fable, I would never tell you. <laughs> Phil <laughs> Spencer is the Zodiac killer. I mean, you, you know what happens when Fable's canceled, right? Fable gets announced. Oh, you're right. Every time Fable's canceled, a new Fable gets its wings. Uh, yeah, there was like six years that didn't happen. Do you care to? Okay, now. Yeah, he's gone. He ran. <laughs> Chris Wolfhard, what is the final gamer premonition for this episode of Gamer Premonition? I'm going to paint a more positive picture of the future than you, Dan. Not only is this crash announcement not a fucking horrible battle royale that wasn't originally a crash game and they shouldn't fucking ship. <laughs> it will be a Crash and Spyro crossover game. Ooh. So it will be at least half good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Which half is that? Hmm. Uh, and, and then someone will try to talk about Skylanders and they'll get quickly shuffled off stage. <laughs> and then the cane comes out. <laughs> and then Kane from Legacy of Kane comes out. <laughs> and he's a bandicoot has vampire powers. <laughs> fucking its own fucking thing we got going on there. Anyways. These are all very exciting premonitions we've had today. I'd like to thank you all for joining us live. And even though I'm pretending this is ending, obviously we're rolling straight into that. So thank you for listening to this episode of Gamer Premonitions. Is it this song? I actually don't know what the... Was it? No, that's nope. not... No, that's, <laughs> that might have been good, though. Yeah, yeah this is a new Gamer Premonitions that you saw. <laughs> Bringing a new energy, baby. <laughs> well, you got hyped up for the actual event happening in minutes. <laughs> Whatever, it's, it's the same game. <laughs> okay. Thank you for listening to this episode of Gamer Premonitions. Podcasts such as these are literally only possible because of your incredibly strong support of our psychotic endeavor. I look forward to you supporting us to the point where I sell out to Discovery HBO Max Disney <laughs> in the year 2025. Thank you very much. You are Bob Lord. Thank you, Bob Lord. Thank you, Bob We're fading. We're fading. Thank you, Bob Lord. We're going. We're children. 
This is CNN. <laughs> CNN. <laughs> oh no, the brain damage is back. <laughs> no, when did it leave? I did, barely got to notice it was gone. This month's Gigaboots videos were brought to you by the continued support of our executive producers, such as Esme, E. Lee Broyles, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff, Red Blaze 27, Brendan O'Sullivan, Burning Pepsi Man, Adam Admar, Cooper Tank, and Virmvarm. Thank you very much to our executive producers, and also these gamers. If you want to support Gigaboots so we can continue the content crunch, then head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today.